guys! Today I am here with Molly King from Hello. Days Hello. at London Fashion Weekend with Maybelline. And today we're going to be asking you a few beauty and fashion related questions. Perfect. Is that all right? Of course. Um, I tweeted yesterday and I've had so many questions, so I've chosen the best ones. Oh, amazing. And we're going to be asking you a few. So okay. the first one is from Rosie and she says, what eye makeup do you suggest to suit your fuchsia lipstick, your limited edition? Um, well, I think with the fuchsia lipstick, because it's quite a statement lip, I would keep the eye quite simple. Um, I love wearing lots of mascara. I love the Great Lash Maybelline one. Um, but I think you can leave the rest quite simple yeah. and just leave it to the lip to do the talking. Yeah, because it is bright. It's really it's a bright. bright colour, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, the second question is from Name, who okay. asks, what's your everyday beauty essential in your handbag? Or even better, what have you got in your handbag now that you've used today that you're like, oh no, oh Do you know what my beauty essential is? Baby lips. It's really? so good. It's Maybelline and it's it's just so good for every day. Even and they're tinted too, right? Yes, yeah. some of them are tinted, some are clear. Um, but say on a day off, I like to wear no makeup, but I will always wear that because it keeps your lips soft and has a shine to it as well. Tastes good. Tastes good. <laughs> Good. Okay, Susie asks, um, what is your skin routine? Because you always have amazing skin and she's very oh, jealous. thank you, <laughs> thank you. My skin routine is I use L'Oreal Paris cleansing oil to take my makeup off and I have to take my makeup off every day after work. I think it's really important to let your skin breathe. Um, and then I'll sometimes use Kerita as well. I think that, that suits my skin type. Cool. Next question from Megan. Uh -huh. Says, what is your advice for always keeping on trend? Oh, my advice. Um, I like to look at the fashion shows and to, you know, look in magazines and everything like that. But I also think it's important to dress for yourself. Don't always totally follow what's on trend. You should stick to the shapes and styles that suit you. But you know, with makeup as well, you you can mix it up. You know, you you can always wipe it off. So I think you can play around too. Don't get stuck in a rut. Kit Kat asks. Well, I think her name's actually Catherine. Asks, <laughs> what is one item in your wardrobe that you love the most? In my Talking wardrobe. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. I have, do you know what? I have a new, it's brand new for um, winter. It's from Oasis. It's like a camel coloured coat and it's so nice. You can wear it with anything. It's really, yeah, you, it just goes with everything. Good so, staple. Yeah. Emergency staple. if you're in a hurry. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> uh, Natalie asks, what were your favourite looks from London Fashion? this season. Did you get to any shows? I didn't actually get any no. shows this season, which is a shame. I, I normally go each season, but um, do you know what? I like picking bits out from each show. I think, you know, you can take makeup inspirations from some, you can take hair from others, and um, I need to catch up with it all, to be honest. So. You've been too busy. I've been busy. <laughs> I've been busy promoting the single. <laughs> Alice Chidley, Chidley asks, uh -huh. For both of us, Molly and Fleur, what are your five wardrobe pieces of autumn winter 2013? You've already said one with your camel coat. I love the camel coat. <laughs> Do you know what I just Five love is hard. It's I five hard. is hard. Um, oh my goodness. Um, I love everywhere you go at the moment, there's always a pink coat in every store. Yeah, pink is huge. pink isn't it? coat, yeah, definitely. That's why I like the pink lipstick because you can kind of do the different tones of pink. Um, I'm loving it. I just love a coat because I think in the winter it's so much easier to dress because you can just whack a coat on. Yeah, cover it all up. And out you go. So, um, I like this. olive jeans. I'm loving olive jeans. Oh, yeah. This is good. Oh, I've got nice. a good pair of things that I like. And the boots that I'm wearing at the moment. Oh, they're nice. Staple. Yeah, all you guys can't boots. see them, but they're lovely. Oh, I'm not that She's flexible. I can't get it. I can't get it out there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just I like these shoes actually as well. But she's gonna take them I'm off. I'm gonna take them off. She's more pro than me. Oh. <laughs> They're really nice. Top shop. Are they? Yes, Very they are. Nice. I do like these very much. So that's not five. Again. But between I think us, between us, we got we got five. <laughs> so the next question is from Zuleka. What's your favourite perfume? Um, I love Tom Ford Black Orchid. Do you? My yeah. mum wears that. Does that reminds she? me, literally, you know when you hug someone and it yeah, smells reminds me of them? Yeah. Can you smell it now? No. Oh, I'm, I'm not I think it's <laughs> pretty more <laughs> on. Um, I, I probably could. But <laughs> we're not getting that close. Get closer. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got a question from my friend Tanya Burr, who is also makes videos on YouTube. She asks, uh -huh. what foundation, concealer and powder do you use on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, I like to mix it up. I, at the moment I'm using Maybelline, um, but I just think the most important thing with foundations is to make sure you get one that suits you. If you've yeah. got like an oily skin or dry skin. And another 
massive tip that I've learned just through being in the band is make sure that you change your colour from summer to winter because you're obviously yeah. so much more tanned in the summer <laughs> so don't keep that tanned foundation on in the winter because orange face orange face it's not a good look what about powder um, powder again I use Maybelline at the moment but um, oh oh my god we're in the dark different lighting <laughs> so we're back with different that. lighting. Sorry about that, guys. Bit of a nightmare. We're hoping Your it's up. nice lighting because we can't really tell. But um, with the, the thing I'd say about powder is um, to be careful to not over powder. Yeah. I think it's important to stay quite dewy in some parts. But Maybelline have a new powder that, compared to every other powder, if it gets wet, which often on stage, me and the girls are like sweaty, this does not shift. It's like stays on. So if you're looking for a powder that stays, Maybelline. That's what I was gonna say. Like being on stage, sweat-proof makeup. Oh, more I than know. like oil or anything. Must I be know. That's nightmare. what we need. We really need a powder that doesn't move. So that's a really good one. And then I have a last question, which is from Nicola, and she asks, "What's the best advice you've ever received <gasps> about makeup or in about life? anything? Oh my Whatever god." Easier, makeup. Um, yeah. <laughs> God knows why I'd go into Let's otherwise. Get philosophical. <laughs> um, yeah. I would say just just the simple things. Take your makeup off at night. You have to do that to let your pores and you know your skin breathe. Um, and to try and drink as much water. I know it sounds boring, but it does make a real difference. So yeah. yeah. I've actually got one last question for you, which is from okay. me. Yeah. I had a nightmare this morning. My alarm right. didn't go off. I was just telling. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I woke up two hours late. Right. So I was like, oh my god, so late. Had to get ready in 20 minutes. What would you oh do? Oh my god, what you look so. On? How have you done that? <laughs> oh, I was on the train. I did my makeup on the train. How but... have you got the wave in the hair that quick, though? Five minutes. Oh, it's a fabulous um, just waving wand. <gasps> but have you seen the new Babyliss um, you know Color Secret? I've got one at home. I haven't used it yet. Is oh it good? my god, <laughs> it's so good. Um, but if I had. 20 minutes and you have to be minutes, out of the door. Out of the door. And I had dogs as well, so I had to feed the dogs, get them outside. Oh was, my gosh, it was okay. not good. Um, a bit of dry shampoo. Yeah. Um, L net, keep it in place. You know, I'd, I'd whack it up into a ponytail. Yeah. That would be my safe thing. <laughs> whack it up into a ponytail, L net it totally in place. Um, well, like really tight so it looks like. Quite tight. Like you've done it on, you know, like you've done it on purpose. Yes. Like you've done a greasy <laughs> look on purpose. And then um, a bit of great lash mascara. Um, and probably just stick to a simple baby lips on the lips. Yeah. And a bit of. Um, tinted moisturiser or anything like slap Tinted moisturiser. Yeah. Or. Um, do you know the L'Oreal Duo Bronzer? Glam, it's called How Glam Duo it? Bronzer. Oh my god, it's great for a contour. <laughs> Even if I'm in a rush, there's it's always time contour. for a contour. A quick like, <laughs> so I'd do that. There we go. Thank you very much, Thank Molly, you. for answering your questions. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, so today, as promised, is going to be my Asian beauty haul. If you guys didn't know by now, I've just got back off my honeymoon. It was amazing. Um,